welcome back. Well, our three lads are all fired up, so let's hot foot it over and say hi to the boys. <laughs> Well, hello, number one. What's your name and where do you come from? Hello, Scylla. My name's Andy Knight from Leeds. <laughs> hello, number two. What's your name and where do you come from? Hi, Scylla. I'm Matt and I'm from Essex. <laughs> oh, we love our Essex boys. We love our Essex boys. What do you do? I work as a salesman yes. uh, for an office furniture company. Yes, but you've got a very, very big ambition. I've got a dream, Scylla. I'll be the youngest Prime Minister this country has ever seen. <laughs> and you heard it first, but those trousers are blind, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> now, why, tell us why you should be the youngest Prime Minister of this country. Well, to I mean... be honest, I'm just fed up of the country at the moment. It's not being run properly. <laughs> <laughs> With my party fab, <laughs> I'll take this country by a storm. Really? So what does FAB stand for, then? For a better Britain. For a better... Br oh, well, I'm with that. For a better yeah. Britain. Now, tell us about your policies. Have you got any? I certainly have. OK. Firstly, bank holiday Mondays. We just don't get enough, do we? Oh, I agree with that, no. More bank holiday That's Mondays, right. yes. Where's the that? Secondly, birthdays. If the Queen can get away with two birthdays here, then why can't we? Yeah, two birthdays, that's good. Oh, that means. That is good, yes. More presents for everyone. Twice the presents, so we agree with... Oh, I like you, I'd vote for you. <laughs> yes, you are F-A-B-B. <laughs> for a better Britain. Any more policies? Oh, finally, thirdly, um, retirement. I would make it compulsory for everyone to retire at 50. Well, let's face it, Scylla. By the time you're 50, you're tired, you're bored... <laughs> ..and you deserve a rest. <laughs> I'd pension a lot of you off. <laughs> well, I agree. I can't wait to be 50. <laughs> three, what's your name and where do you come from? Hello, Scylla. My name's Mike and I'm from Milton Keynes. Woo! Wonderful. <laughs> well, three very different fellas, but of course they're all the same when it comes to one thing. Looking for love. Will they find it with this girl? Her name's Emma and she's from Berkshire, so come in, Emma! <laughs> Picture, sit on there, Emma. You look gorgeous. Is she stunning or what? <laughs> oh, unbelievable. My goodness me. Now, Emma, what do you do? I'm a personal assistant. Question number one, two, number one. Having fiery red hair, I always stand out in a crowd. What characteristic do you have that makes you different from the rest? Well, being six foot three and having um, spiky blonde hair, whenever I'm in a crowd, I'm guaranteed to stand head and shoulders above the rest. <laughs> Number two, please. It'd have to be my hips, because once you've seen them move, your hair won't be the only thing that's on fire. <laughs> and number three. Hello, Emma. Hello. <laughs> well, as a trained hypnotist, it'd have to be my big, brown, mesmerising eyes. And when you gaze into my eyes tonight, Emma, you can be sure to find yourself spellbound. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Question number two to number two. Being a personal assistant, one part of my job is to arrange trips to far off exotic places for my boss. Describe the perfect trip for the two of us. Well, I'd take you to a desert island where I'd be your man Friday and I'd personally assist you. In fact, I'd be your man Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. <laughs> oh, what the hell? I'll be your man all week long. <laughs> Number three, please. Well, as a keen snowboarder, I'd whisk you to the top of a beautiful mountain. Then we'd race down the slopes together to a lovely, cosy log cabin. And I'd pull you inside out of the cold 
and together we'd keep each other warm. And finally, number one. Well, Emma, after tonight, the only thing you'll be arranging for your boss is your replacement, because you'll be coming with me, and that will be perfect. Oh. Very good. We're all good. Mm. Question number three. My car is my pride and joy, and I call her my silver bullet. Do you have a name for your car, number three? I recently bought a brand new Beetle, and I'll tell you what, it's the funkiest car I've ever driven in. And that's why I call it my funk were built. Pick me tonight, Emma, and get my motor running. Number two, please. Well, I call my car Elvis, after one of my <laughs> idols. But unfortunately, the suspension's gone. <laughs> when I take you for a drive, you're bound to be long shook up. <laughs> And number one, please. Well, I've uh, never actually had a car long enough to give it a name. Um, <laughs> but if you let me behind the wheel of your silver bullet, I promise I'll drive you crazy. Oh, <laughs> oh Emma. Oh, Emma, three very different guys there. They're all lovely, though. Uh, are you in a dilemma, Emma? I am. You are. <laughs> Shall we go to our Graham? Yes, please. Come on, Graham. <laughs> Well now, Emma, will it be vertically enhanced number one who gives you notice that he'll drive you round like a shot? <laughs> or perhaps it'll be trepiditious number two who'd like to keep you in suspense every day of the week as he rolls his hips? <laughs> oh boy, how hot. Or maybe you'll go for hypnotic number three who'd slide from your gaze to catch the beetle in your cabin. <laughs> the decision is yours. It's a big decision, but you've got to make it, only you. Who are you going to go for? Well, it has been very hard, but I'm going to go for number three. Yeah. Yeah. What about the two that you turned down? Oh, oh, for instance, you turned down gorgeous Andy. That was number one from Leeds. Come in, Andy. You also turned down number two, our future Prime Minister, <laughs> Matt from Essex. Come in, Matt. <laughs> oh, bad Matt. <laughs> she loves her. She's gorgeous, isn't she? 